In today's video, we are going to talk about taking care of an English Angora rabbit. The English Angora rabbit is docile and sociable. The Angora rabbit is one of the oldest domestic breeds of rabbits, originating from Ankara, Turkey, historically known as Angora. They eventually made their way to America where, prior to 1939, there was merely one type of woolly rabbits, which was called the Angora wooler. In 1939, the Angora wooler was reclassified into two types of rabbits. The French and English types. In 1944, the American Rabbit Breeders Association officially separated these into two breeds, which are now known as the French Angora and English Angora rabbit. Here are some tips to raise and take care of these rabbits properly. But before we jump into the care tips, here's some interesting information and facts about English Angora rabbits. These small, compact rabbits have a broad, flat head and short ears with plenty of woolly fur on them. They also have fur on their faces, unlike any other Angora, as well as woolly feet. The English Angora rabbit is the only Angora that has facial furnishings. This means they have dense bands and even side trimmings so their entire body including their feet is covered in fur. They are often called round balls of fluff when their coat is in perfect condition. The English Angora's coat is thick woolly and silky in texture. Regular grooming, even during off-shedding periods, is necessary, or else their fur becomes tangled, matted, and otherwise unpleasant. Whether you are raising your English Angora rabbit to be a show rabbit, wool production rabbit, or pet rabbit, it is important to keep their coat tangle-free. In order to do this, use a pet grooming brush with wire bristles similar to those used with dogs or cats once to twice a week. If your English Angora is a pet, be sure to take it to a groomer or use shears to keep their coat short, as it will constantly grow. Those using the English Angoras for their wool report shearing their coat about four times per year, that's a lot of wool. Should any matting appear, you may also use shears to remove them. If you decide to keep an English Angora rabbit as a pet, giving them what is known as a puppy cut will make grooming them easier. This kind of haircut involves sharing most of their bodies and faces to keep their coat short, but leaving their feet and ear coat relatively long. The result is a rabbit that resembles somewhat of a tiny poodle. Temperament English Angoras are even-tempered rabbits who love to spend quality time with their human handlers. Because they require so much grooming, they will no doubt bond with the person who grooms them the most often, especially if it is the same person who feeds, pets and plays with them. They do not have the tendency to be skittish or ill-mannered, so introducing them to children won't be difficult. While they don't crave constant attention, their personalities flourish when they are mostly out and about and interacting with humans, which is why this is a great breed for both singles and couples who would like a pet in their lives. When they are having their daily outdoor time out of their enclosures, make sure to have a couple of toys handy so they can chew. Aside from wool block, some rabbits also develop overgrown teeth due to poor diet. Should you be feeding your rabbit a balanced diet of hay, pellets, and vegetables, overgrown teeth should not be a problem but giving them something to chew on, like a dog toy won't hurt, plus it will keep them entertained. Some rabbits also like chewing on pieces of wood, some have been known to chew parts of their wooden enclosure, so giving them a piece of rabbit safe wood to entertain them is also acceptable. Health Concerns English Angoras make great pets and their enclosure can either be indoors or outdoors. The most worrisome health issue the English Angora rabbit faces is the potential for woodblock. Rabbits are clean animals that groom themselves often and because the English Angora has such thick, long wool, they can accidentally inject some fur whilst grooming. Normally, this is passed through their droppings but it is possible that this fur is trapped inside the digestive system and creates a furball. Unlike cats, rabbits cannot regurgitate to eliminate this hairball, and consequently, it gets larger and larger. The hairball grows so much that the rabbit either believes it is full and dies because it does not eat or it blocks the digestive tract completely and it simply cannot eat. Either way, wood block is a dangerous and real problem when it comes to rabbits who have long, thick fur. Symptoms of wood block include a decrease in appetite or not eating at all, decreased activity, and droppings that are less frequent and or are strung together by wool. If you see any or more than one of these symptoms, be sure to consult your veterinarian for the next step. Thankfully, there are ways of preventing wool block in your rabbit, diet being the most important. Make sure your rabbit's diet is high in fiber and groom your rabbit regularly. Many breeders also supplement with pineapple chunks or papaya tablets once a week to prevent wool block. Care Requirements First and foremost, English Angoras require a lot of attention in the coat department because their coat is so woolly and thick. They need regular brushings, one to two times a week with a wire bristled comb, and shearing approximately four times a year to keep their coat mat free. Unless you are willing to dedicate this much time into keeping your rabbit happy and healthy, this breed is not recommended for first-time owners. 
Like most rabbits, English Angora rabbits require a diet consisting of 70% of hay. The remaining 30% should be equal amounts of fresh fruits, vegetables, and high-quality pellets to ensure they are getting the recommended vitamins, nutrients and proteins needed to grow. Baby rabbits, or kits, require a different diet. Any kit younger than 3 weeks old should strictly be drinking their mother's milk. Kits that are 3 to 4 weeks old can be given nibbles of alfalfa as well as pellets and once they are 4 to 7 weeks, you should give them access to plenty of pellets as well as alfalfa. When kits are 7 weeks to 7 months old, you should switch to unlimited pellets and hay, and finally, when they are 12 weeks old, slowly introduce them to vegetables to find out which ones they prefer. English Angoras make great pets and their enclosure can either be indoors or outdoors, depending on your housing situation. Indoor bunny enclosures should be large enough to allow your rabbit to move around freely and should have bedding to keep your Angora happy. To ensure a clean coat, make sure to spot clean your rabbit's enclosure every day and change their bedding once or twice a week. If the enclosure is outside, make sure it has enough protection from dangers such as inclement weather and other wildlife, but access to wind and sun. These creatures are docile and sociable, so be sure to take them out of their enclosure to have plenty of indoor or outdoor playtime. Should you live in an apartment or home with no fenced backyard, letting your rabbit roam free around the house will give them plenty of exercise, however, they would also love to go outside and catch some rays and feel the grass beneath their feet. Although historically seen as a child's pet, rabbits aren't really suitable for small children. They don't enjoy being picked up and have very fragile backs that can break easily if they're dropped. For this reason, they're better suited to families with older children who can spend time with them, creating a large, natural environment for their rabbits to enjoy which will allow them to express normal behaviors such as digging, binkying, and running. It's important to also remember that rabbits are highly social animals, and in the wild are used to living in large groups with a vast living area. Where possible, this needs to be recreated for our domestic bunnies, and living with a suitable companion has to be at the top of this list. We recommend homing rabbits in compatible pairs, for example, a neutered male with a neutered female. With their very easygoing temperament these rabbits make excellent pets, as long as you're willing to commit time to interact with them and grooming them every day. They enjoy grooming, handling, and interacting with their owners, which makes them very good pets. They are excellent with children too, but ultimately a grown-up must be responsible for making sure all their needs are met. Provided you're still feeling confident, an English Angora rabbit would make a wonderful addition to any willing home and a very loving companion. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.